The waiting is over. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is here. What are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. Confronting fear. It's the destiny of a Jedi. Your destiny. We're all in this. <laughs> Till the end. I'm delighted to have here with me uh, Naomi Aki. Thank you for this interview. Oh, thank you, thank you. We are, everybody's excited about yeah. these movies. The yeah. saga ends, or it maybe continues, right? And you are there. Tell me about yeah. the experience. Oh man, it's, it's crazy. I think in terms of the, yeah, Skywalker saga is at an end. And I, 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 I hope and I don't think it's over as a whole thing. Uh, but for me, I'm just so glad to have been a part of the Skywalker saga series. It feels like it's, you know, it's the original one. It's where it all started, and to see that story finally, um, finally, you know, with all, finally completed, it's just it's lovely to, to have been a part of that. And we see a new characters like mm. you in there. Is Jana, that's the name for Jana, your yes. Okay, tell yeah. us about that, Jana. What is it going to do? Jana, yeah. Oh, I can't tell you what she's gonna do. But I mean, she's she is part of. The resistance. She has um, things in common with a lot of the characters in terms of her experience, and she's she's a survivor and she's a fighter, and um, she just wants to help. Finally, we are going to see uh, space horses. Or Finally, back. yes. I know, right? It's been forever. Uh -huh. They've had like eight goes at this, and not a horse or space horse in sight. It's crazy. Do you also, you know, like a ride a horse to make those yeah. scenes and yeah, everything? I okay. Had to, I had to learn. So I'm from London. There are no horses there. So um, I, I, it took me about seven months, six, seven months to like get to Jana good. Mm -hmm. um, instead of just like walking and like holding onto the reins for dead life to be able to, you know canter and not canter with using my hands and all of that stuff it took me a second uh but now i'm addicted if i if i saw a horse now i wouldn't run away filming the movie you feel the force in on the sets around oh. you you feel the f a force you feel you feel you feel like that there's a real sense of community on on the star wars sets it doesn't feel like you're an individual just like floating it feels like everyone's involved and as interested as you are in making this the best film it can possibly be mm -hmm. so there feels like a real sense of family and community so in in sense yeah the force is with us i i don't know if you agree with me but there is a, like a, a family problem yes but a galactic family problem so how dangerous can be right <laughs> yeah i mean it's always dangerous yeah, <laughs> yeah. can be a uh, resolved more easily way do you think <sighs> I mean, is family problems ever easily solved? <laughs> it sometimes takes years and a lot of fighting. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, there are a lot of family issues in in, uh, in Star Wars. But I feel like that's part of the uh, part of the themes of, of it is like family or like lack thereof of family or trying to find family or like making a family. Is it? It's, it's a very interesting uh, mixture of ideas in Star Wars, and it's always been like that. And I think you know. This last film is is still continuing that trend of, of exploring those ideas. Which character you like for the movie? Mm, oh gosh, this is controversial. Well, this is hard. I don't want to upset anyone. Oh, I think my favorite character is Kylo Ren. Oh, 